Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on his Logics and today it's a super cool day. We've got that big, big jobber. We've got to go get the biggest, biggest tankers that's ever been in the shoppers. So it's going to be a big day today. So you're not going to want to miss this one. So please, like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell. Let's crack on with the proper big jobber today. So I had a gentleman come in yesterday and we made the, uh, the deal for me to take the tank on. Um, some of the stuff is probably going to give it away of what sort of tank it is. But we came in and he's brought me all the media. So in here is all the good bacteria that was developed in the tank. So you can probably guess now it's a big fish tank. Um, really, really nice. So this is all the good bacteria. So we put it all into here. This is the oxygenator. So this is keeping it all alive while we wait for the, the tank to come down. And then once the tank comes down, we can put it all back in there and then the tank will be pre-cycled then. So we haven't got to worry about anything. We can put fish in it straight away and the good bacteria is already in there, ready to go. So that's going to save us cycling a humongous tank, basically. So big, big tank has come in. It's the biggest one we've ever had in the shop. And we've got some big tanks in the shop. So it should be really cool. We're going to go here. So it's, it's really early in the morning. Meg isn't even here. I'm sorry, Morgan isn't even here yet. Don't tell her I said that. Uh, <laughs> well, it's probably the first time I've ever got it, got it uh, mixed up though. So she's not even here yet, but she is feeling a little bit poorly. So she might be um, having half a day today. Um, but we need her here this morning just to watch the shot while we do this big job out and then she can go home afterwards. So that's the plan for today. So let's crack on, and as soon as it gets to 10, I'll be getting picked up and we'll be going to do the job. Okay, so the old man's here to help me. So what we're doing is we're making a pad of polystyrene for the back of the car, just to make sure it's nice and soft so we don't damage anything. This is gonna be a big thing we've got to fit in. Oh, oh, oh. So there we go, off on our adventure. So we're just loading up the car now. Fingers crossed it all goes well. I'm not gonna film anything because it's someone else's personal house. So uh, we'll crack on, get it all loaded and away we go. There you go, we've got the first bit in. We've gotta go back and then drop this off and then collect the other bit. It is heavy. It's the thing. It's the heaviest thing we've ever picked up and put in the shop. In it, oh, Dad. Oh, awesome. Proper, proper heavy. Glass is 15 mil thick. It's ridiculous. So we get this back, unload it. We don't know if we'll be able to do it because we had to load it with three blokes. And there's only two of us now, and that was ridiculously heavy. So we get it all shipped into the shop. Hopefully, we get it loaded up, and then we can come back and get the other bit, and then we've got to set it all up. Then back at the shop, we've had an idea. So we're going to leave that in that car, we're going to get my car and then go get the base so we can put the base in and then take it straight out of the car into the shop and put it on the base. Because we're going to have a right man, so let's crack on and get the keys. We've got the base, we've got the base, we're on our way back, load it all into the shop. Okay, we're here, we're going to open the door of the shop, get the stand in. Stand's all here, ready to go. And we lift it all in, get it in the shop and then we can get the top bit. So it's a bit mash mash, but it's, it's hard to film while we're doing it all. So there's the base, in ready to go. Now it's the big boy. So I'm gonna set the camera up. Probably gonna be a long clip, but uh, you'll see us bring the big bad boy in. Ah, uh, you okay? Yeah. Is your shoulder right? It's my hands. Ah, uh, 
Kan het benen bereikt is. Dan gaan we het even maar laten staan. Dan wordt het voorbij. Okay. That's the next level. I'm gonna have to bleep out all the swearing. <laughs> oh. Wow, wow. Oh my God, that was ridiculous. So, just to show you, uh, the glass, you can see how thick the glass is. It's like, 12 mil glass, it's ridiculous. It's so heavy. But look at this for a fish tank. For it's 500 liters. It's uh, got the computer panel on the top. It's got a sump at the bottom. It's really, really cool. So, oh, so we're gonna have to get it, we're gonna try and get it sorted out. I'll probably gonna get it sorted today. I'm probably gonna do it tomorrow. With the, we're feeding day as well today, which I'm going to do on a separate video, I think. Um, we'll, uh, we'll do feeding day afterwards. And once I've recuperated, I'll show you some of this. We'll get most of it set back up, because what you can do, a lot of the wires go down through there and stuff like that. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool, to be fair. So fingers crossed we get everything going and uh, we're raring to go. But I need about a half hour just to chill out after that. I mean, I've gashed my arm, both arms. I literally, it got to, because we was three people carrying it to the car, it was fine. Just me and my dad coming in in there, because I've got a bad shoulder and my hands just could not hold it. So a couple of times I almost dropped it. I had to put it on my legs and then I managed to get a proper little rest. But, and then I managed to do the last little stint, but Oh, I it really struggled with that. That was at the peak of my strength. That was that was as much as I could lift. I can't lift any more than that. Oh, but look at it. She's epic. So I'll try and get it all turned on at least. And then maybe fill it up tomorrow. See how we get on. So I've got to do something because we've got all the media to look after. Okay, so we've got a bit of a conundrum. So we've got the big tank with the sump. So Morgan, well, we both um and on about it, but Morgan's leaning more towards the uh, turn it into a marine tank. So what? She really thinks it's going. To go, what, so what do you think? It's going to take. It's going to be a big job to turn it into marine. It's we can do it though. But so let me think. If you guys want me to do it marine, get a load of likes and comments on this video. Say, oh, what's the most likes I've ever had on a video? probably about 20 odd. So if you get to 50 likes, 50, I'll turn it marine, okay? But because it's gonna be a big job and it's gonna cost me a load of money and salt and water and stuff. So if it's something that you want me to do, get the video up to 50 likes and I'll think about turning it marine. At the moment, I'm gonna set it up for normal water just because we've got the bio media. Um, but if I get to 50 likes on this video, I will turn it marine and we'll have a big marine display tank because the thing is it's going to cost me an arm and leg in, in um, marine rock and live rock so that's going to cost me a ridiculous amount of money so i need a good amount of likes good amount of comments to make it worthwhile me doing okay so there's a challenge for you you get morgan happy as well if you did it so we're going to try and put some of it together while I've got it fresh in my mind, I've ripped all my abs carrying that, so I'm, it's like I've been punched in the stomach. <laughs> oh, okay, so here's our light bar. Oh, we've got a big cleaner as well. Let's see if we can get this light bar on. 
Oh, and it goes this way. Okay, we've got to sort out the wire, but we can do that in a sec. Okay, so I was told we got the cable here. This powers the light, and then. No, this connects the light to the computer panel. So we have to lift this back up again, like so, and then we have to put this through here. Like that. There we go. Drop that back down. Sorry, we're all over the place. So I've got to connect that to there. Then this cable goes down this hole and then comes out the bottom which we connect it then to the power supply and then uh, it will turn all our lights on. I've left the one cable in my dad's car though so they've got to bring that back so we are going to be struggling a little bit but I think we're going to be okay. So next job we're going to feed this down so I'll do all this and then we might be looking at trying to do some of the filtering, attaching the pipes and stuff. Okay, so I've mocked up the electrics for now. I have got to sort it out properly. But at the moment, we're on the there's extension lead part block inside. That goes to that extension lead there, which then goes all the way around to this extension lead there, which goes in there to that extension lead that goes to there. So we're at four, extent, four extension leads at the moment, so that's probably not the best situation. So I'm gonna have to completely change the wiring. I'll probably put a cable straight from the uh, extension lead in here all the way around, so there's only maximum of two. Um, so, look at that. Our computer panel is all working. So we got water temperature, We've got the timers for the lights and we've got the lights. So it's really, really cool. So what we can do is we can turn the lights on by pressing this button here. We've got red lights, green lights, a darker ready purple. Then we've got a, a, a green or blue. Then we've got white, well, a mix of all of them. And we've got off. Blue, green, Red, green, like a mix of everybody. And then we got off, I think. And then one of them. It should do a thing where it goes through all the colors. There is a way to get it to slowly fade through all the colors. But there we go, so it's all lit up. So I'm gonna be doing some cleaning, I've gotta clean it all. Um, I think we're gonna put water in it today. Um, just basically, I don't want the seals to dry out or anything like that. So I think we're filling up today. And then we might be able to get the pumps running and stuff like that. So that will be what we'll plan to do. Um, and then if we decide we want to change it to something else, we can do that another day. And we can get all our biomedia in and have that running in there because it's doing its best, but it's not doing everything it could possibly be doing in there. So I switched to the phone camera. Basically, GoPro's run out of battery and we're going to be doing some close-up stuff so this might be a bit better so i'm going to show you this now this is really cool this is so <laughs> how cool is that it just opens on its own but dunk and then <laughs> so underneath we've got our sump this is where all our filtration happens the filter sponges are in there. We've got all our bio media is in there, keeping itself alive. So there's one thing we've got to do. So this cable here for our pump, I'm gonna to have to cut the plug off 
because there's a hole down there and we didn't realize we should have put this through the hole before I put everything on top. So to get it through the hole, I'm gonna to have to cut the plug off and rewire a plug, it's no hassle. Um, we've got some pipes here as well. So we're gonna to have to connect these back up and then we should be raring to go. So we've got the down, no, we've got the uplift and then we've got the down. So we're, we're attached them on, which should be quick, easy. We're gonna go do it hand tight as well from what he was saying. Don't want it to over tight. And then we just got to get it all plugged in, fill it up, and it should be running, in theory. That's better. So we've got, that's where our wires come down. So we've got in and we've got out. So that should be fine for us there. Oh, we've got a spider. We've got a spidey. We've got a spidey. He's all right. He's all right. He's getting all the flies for me. He is. So we've got to attach this one to here like that with a bracket or something or some sort of thing that's not on it at the moment uh, but I'll find it and then attach that one to there and we'll be away there we go so we've got one down pipe nipped up hand tight this one hand tight as well so then we're just going to do attach this to there attach that one to that one and away we go there we go we're all connected looking good looking snazzy so we've got the uplift that goes to our pump, which is down there. And then we've got our down pipe, which goes down into there. And then trickles all the way through, and then back up the pump. We're definitely filling up. What's life without a bit of whimsy, eh? Let's fill it up and see what this looks like full. We will live, let's live it wild, live wild. Oh, lovely. I've had an idea, so if it comes to it and we decide to use this for something else, we could use this as like almost like an exo terror. So we could have um, water in the bottom and all plants and branches and stuff, and we could have maybe some uh, like semi aquatic lizards or something like that. That might be something cool we could do with it as well. So we wouldn't even have to fill it all the way up then, we'd leave it till there and then we'd alter it a little bit and we could do a really cool reptile enclosure in there as well. So there's other options we can do. So let me know what you think's the best. I'm doing it now, just filling it with water because I don't want it full of water. Um, but let me know if you want the, you really have to convince me to do the chameleon, uh, the um, salt water one, but turning it reptile or fresh water, I reckon that's gonna be really easy to do. So, those ones we'll do anyway if we want to. But for the marine one, I need some good likes and I need some good comments on this video if I'm gonna do it, because it's a lot of money. So we need quite a lot of de dechlorinator. So in here, we've got 180 liters, the 10 mil for 180 liters. We're on about 500 with this one. So we're looking at, oh, maybe 25 mil something like that so i took 25 million while it's doing this and um, we should be ready then by the time it's all filled up and we can put all the media in and be ready to go because the media will die if the water hasn't been dechlorinated beforehand Okay, we're almost full. Next, we're gonna be going down into the sump. Soon. Very, very soon. 
Oh no, we're going in, we're already going in. Already going in, okay. We're still nice and dry everywhere else. So all my joints are good, which is nice. So now we're gonna let this fill up a little bit. I'm gonna ring the gentleman, tell him, get him to remind me of what depth it should be while uh, the pumps are off. And then we put all the biomedia in and then it'll be running. We get the pumps going and everything. Okay, so we can go up to this line while it's not pumping, okay? So it's come up to here now, it's got a reasonable level and now it's filling this section up and then it's gonna go over a bit more. Once we've got this all filled up, then we're gonna add our biomedia. Well, we switch it on and then we'll add the biomedia and we'll know what everything's doing then and we should be raring to go. Now it's media time, so I've got to put all this in that filter system. The filtration is done, we've got all our balls in there, put all our media in, we've got our filter membranes, all goes through, it's all little compartments and that. So we're all ready to go now, just got to do some drying and we'll be done. I did have a slight leak, all I did is nipped it up again, tightened them up a tiny bit and that was plenty for them. So all I had to do was a little, little tight up on the joints. Okay, let's turn the pump on. Where's my cable? Here he is. Okay. Oh, 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 hey. We got some flow going. That's what we like. So it should be going in through there and down and then out through the top as well as going down through the top as well. Also, had the sand brought down, so we're going to chuck the sand in as well. So normally, I would lower the sand down to the bottom and tip it out. we are not be able to do it with this. So I'm literally just have to pour it in. It might fog it all up, but give it a day or two and it'll be clear. There we go, all sanded up. Still got to do some cleaning and stuff on it, get some of the algae off, some of the marks and stuff, but I think that looks pretty good to me. I'm happy with that. Look at the size of it. What? Oh, that's gonna be, I've decided that what I'm thinking we're gonna do is we're gonna get every angel we got in the shop and then we're gonna have a big angel tank. So, We've got one, two, three, four, five in there. Six, seven. So I've got seven big, well, two big ones, five good size angels. So the tank shouldn't have to cycle because we've put all the good bacteria in from when the tank had fish in and it's already got good bacteria. So all we've got to do is wait for the tank to warm up and then we should, in theory, be able to add the angels. So hopefully tomorrow, we might be able to add the angels. But I'll do a separate video on adding the stuff because I think we're at the peak now and I think we're almost finished. So there we go everybody, all set up, all running. It's gonna count down till six o'clock now and then it's gonna turn its own lights off. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. What an epic day today's been. Oh, so please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring that bell for me. And hopefully the next day or two, we'll get some fishes in there. So keep an eye out for that as well. So if you wanna watch the video, there should be one there. If you wanna to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you wanna watch the playlist, she's up there. So I'll see you in the future, bye.